My name is Nunu Talagani, and I'm an emergency physician at Stanford, working in the emergency department since 1999, and an associate professor of surgery in the School of Medicine. I'm also the medical advisor for Vivid Medical, and today I would like to provide an overview and instruction on the use of our Vivid Track device. Vivid Track is a single-use video intubation device that has an integrated or built-in ET tube channel. The adult model, which we are using today, supports ET tubes between 6 and 8.5 millimeters. You connect the Vivitrac to any Windows or Apple computer by connecting the cable to the USB port on your computer. To load the ET tube, you want to pre-lubricate the tube, turn it 90 degrees towards you, and begin the insertion process from the top of the channel. What you do is you gently push the ET tube in, and the channel will guide where the ET tube should go. You want the distal tip of the ET tube to align with the channel, so if you find that you've pushed it in too far, just pull it back so that it aligns with the end of the channel and not the end of the blade. Okay, so now that the device is preloaded, let me show you what you do next. You take the USB cable that's part of the device and you plug it into the USB port of your computer, or as in this case, to an extension cord from your USB port. As soon as you plug it in, you will see that our free software immediately pops up on your screen and you're ready to intubate. What you want to do is you want to gently hold the device and you want to hold it pa uh, parallel to the patient's thorax. You enter the oropharynx and when you enter the oropharynx what you'll see is as soon as you enter the oropharynx you will see the cords. You can move the, the device from side to side to align it to the, the position that you like but ideally what you want is you want your entire anatomical structure visible. You don't want to have pushed the device in too far in or too far out. So once you have it in the right position where you see the, the triangle of your, of your airway, you just take the top of the ET tube and you very gently just push it in and it will go directly into the trachea. As soon as you see the balloon go through the cords, what you can do is then blow up your, your balloon and then to release the ET tube from the device, you hold it in the top, you very gently push it forward and you, hold, and you pull it out to the side of the mouth. You hold it to the side of the mouth, securing it as you would any, any ET tube, and then you want to remove the Vivitrac device. And the easiest and best way to remove this device is to simply reverse the process that you use to intubate. So you just hold it very gently and you slide it out of the mouth, and you're done. Uh, so let me tell you about a couple of pearls and a pitfall. One of the first pearls is that uh, this device can be used to intubate uh, a patient who's in C-spine immobilization. You do not need a head uh, tilt, you do not need neck extension, uh, and uh, the device will go in without any difficulty, and it's ideal for a C-spine immobilized patient. Secondly, if there's a vibration uh, or a movement, as uh, the patient's being intubated in a moving vehicle, for example, the vibration is not going to affect. See how I'm completely shaking the head of this mannequin, yet look how clear your visual field is still in view. So that is another pearl of this device. A third pearl is uh, when you are into, when you have intubated uh, and you are about to enter the cords, some people, you see the edge of my uh, ET tube here, some people like to actually push that in so they can see where they are uh, and give themselves position to be able to get, uh, you know, into a better position before they intubate. And that's another pearl, is that you can move that around. One of the pitfalls I just did as I was showing you is I got too close. If you get too close, it's going to be difficult to intubate. So you do want to stay at the recommended uh, distance, uh, which is you want to be able to see the epiglottis and you want to be able to see the cords. One of our desires is to get really close as we see it, and what that's going to do is that it's going to sometimes, although not in this case because it's such a good device, but it will sometimes create a blockage in your view from where your cord is if you are too close. So one of the other pearls of this device is that you don't necessarily have to be at the head of the patient with the patient supine in front of you. You can use a vivid track to intubate a patient in all sorts of positions. Let's simulate a patient seated in a car seat that's a patient that's been involved in a motor vehicle crash or a seated patient that you want to intubate. You can just come to the side of the patient, uh, put your, either put your hand behind their head or put a pillow behind their head, and you can guide the, the device right into their mouth, and there you have it. And once you see the cords, you do the same thing. You just take the ET tube and you push it right in, and you've now intubated the trachea again. So here's another pearl of this device. Let's say you want confirmation that the tube is still in place and it's in the trachea and you haven't accidentally dislodged the tube, whether in transport or by something else. One of the major advantages of this device is with the tube in place, 
you just reinsert it and you're like, oh yes, the tube is in the right place. A common mistake some people make is that they're so used to intubating with a laryngoscope uh, that they turn the device too quickly and it can sometimes get lodged in the tongue. For example, if you take the device and turn it as you would uh, a regular uh, laryngoscope, you, you can see on the screen how your tongue gets in the way. What you want to do is just follow the gentle curvature of the device. Just allow it to push in a little bit deeper and the vocal cords will come immediately into your view. Great, now that we've gone through the, the uh, uh, instructions, let's just recap. You uh, preload the ET tube into the device. You take the USB cable that's uh, at the, uh, on the end of the device. You plug it into a USB port. The video image will appear on your screen immediately. You align the Vivitrac device with the patient's uh, thorax. You insert it into the oropharynx very gently. Your vocal cords will come into your view. You gently press the ET tube directly into the cords, watching the direct visualization as it intubates. You release the ET tube from the device, and you take the device out of the mouth.